Okay, so now on to chapter 3C of Skulls and the Stars. Fork in the road. The innkeeper places a platter of piping hot game pie and vegetables at a rough wooden table for Kane, with a foamy mug of ale and a hunk of bread and butter on his side. The Puritan concludes his investigation to fill his belly. Kane reflects as he chews that he did not learn a great deal from his questing, the patrons of the journeyman, just some insubstantial rumours that they will never define, nor even state in what way are dangerous. Uh, you can say that again. <laughs> he cleans off his plate and tosses some pennies on the table before stalking out of the ta tavern. Remember, Puritan, the landlord calls out as he st steps over the threshold. Take the swamp road. Cain pauses, considering his warning, then is gone into the night. Soon after departing the village, Cain arrives at a fork in the path where he can either heed the village's warning and take the long road through the swamp or strike out across the moors. Cain suspects the curse to be work of nothing more or less sinister than common robbers. Ne never one to shy away from danger, Cain feels the thrill of adventure calling. With a half smirk, he rests his gauntleted hand on the pommel of his rapier and walks out to the moor. So, um, not doing so well in the last chapter meant that I don't really have a choice in this fork of the road. He's going headstrong and sentient. Now, we've got a an extra action, which is pretty cool, which is very cool. Here, uh, com determination, bravery, and faith will give me, will light on the path, or on Solomon Cain, and plus one strength. Wow. Okay, this could be good. Four darkness cards. Right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can tur turn the tides. We've got add remove darkness with my finesse. I've got add the minus one danger or plus one light with courtesy. Ooh, this is not... This is not looking horrendous. Maybe we can turn the tides here. We still got this darkness card in our cloud for some reason that we really don't know. Okay. That's better. Right. Okay. Let, let's keep going then. Uh, so now we're going to um, see what we can do. O only three dice, obviously. Our, our plus one dice aura does not count on this particular one. Okay. Pain. Bravery, pain. I'm going to flip this. Yeah, I'm going to flip this to fear so that I can use finesse. And I'm going to store that pain that I can maybe use for integrity or even courtesy. And remember, I've got elegance in my hand. Oh, sorry, I just realised get providence on them we? providence uh, with Cain's decision to full heartedly go up into the moor uh, providence tries to steer a bit of sensibility into Solomon Cain a little bit of finesse is required here she thinks so trying to place her aura upon Solomon Cain to try and just give him a little bit more time to think about this course of action as she goes through this. So we're going to add a darkness card to our stack to elongate this particular one. Um, restoring that dice and we're going to get some more light under the board and pray that we can get stuff taken away. This is really, really important. Elegance. Oh, we've lost. Okay, we've lost <clears throat> As As Providence starts to instill a little bit of um, patience into Solomon Cain to think of his actions, she starts to feel the darkness start to once again surround Solomon Cain, hampering his ability to do certain things. Oh, I didn't. Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to do this in a, in a proper way. So um, we need to reshuffle this before we put that into discard. Because I need to uh, draw another card. get interrogation which is probably not much use now i could move too so that could be useful okay right that's my new draw add this card okay. okay actually what i'll do is i'll just do that so it's in the shot okay um next let's go again round two 
Remember, we have added a darkness card, so we've still got four rounds left. Oh, that's a lot of fear. We do have a wild trigger. Uh, yep, that's fine. So I'm going to flip that to bravery. I'm going to use all four of our dice onto, whoops, onto elegance. Oh, not forgetting this. Oh, what did I just flip? I just flipped that to bravery, didn't I? Yep, so I can't do this anyway, so that's fine. Bravery. So we'll do elegance. Providence starts to authoritize her uh, aura around Solomon Cain. And with an elegance that Solomon Cain has not felt for a long time, she starts to clear the way for Solomon Cain, a light his path forward. So we get to place two lights onto Solomon Cain's path. That's elegance gone. Uh, let's put uh, this one here, because we just removed the right-hand side, didn't we? And we'll draw two more cards. They could help me in the long run, but not going to help me right now. Okay, we're nearly there. Really want to try and get this working, but we'll see. Minus one to the stats. But Providence feels the darkness again, once again, settling over Solomon Cain as he starts to make his way towards the moor. Reducing his clarity of the situation. Okay, it's got to be a good roll. It's got to be a clutch roll. Oh, that's got a chance. That has got the chance. Uh, I'm going to flip uh, this to determination. And determination, what faith, <laughs> what a roll. That is a time to get this roll. What's this called, by the way? Oh, we haven't got a name. Um, Providence starts to fight away the darkness, starts to push on, giving Solomon Cain the strength winning himself, as the strength rises by one, uh, to, to, to push forward onto the moor, it seems, and to best prepare him as best as she can. Now, I could have done Resolve, which would have put two lights onto the path. But I'm happy there at the moment because I've got stuff I can do over here. That's so cool. And then this is still, it's still available. That's so That was such a good roll. Uh, right hand again. What? Uh, but again, just as she was starting to prepare, things are starting to go wrong again. Hang on, I'm going to get rid of that and place that on there. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we've got to remove darkness again. But I think we'll be okay. I mean, if we can roll that special rules again, rules again, that would be amazing. Okay. Two rounds left. There's the, oh, this is so good. This is so, so good. I'm gonna flip this to determination. It's firing all cylinders, Providence isn't this time. Providence feels the integrity of her actions and, um, and, and, and wants to prepare Solomon Cain as best he can for the dangers he is about to face. Enlightening the path once again for Solomon Cain ahead. I'm going to get rid of both of these. And place that one on there. Because I could potentially get another darkness turn. Which could be quite cool. And there's the lights and the lights and the lights and lots of lights. Okay. Oh, plus one danger. Um, but Providence really does feel... The danger starting to shroud Solomon Kane. He must make a move and get to the moor as soon as possible. That's cool. Tell you what, I'm gonna re-roll this dice. Hope for a clutch. Give me, give me pain. Ah, uh, give me. It gave me bravery instead. Okay. Um, 
So I think I'm going to extend the turn again. I think I'm happy with that. Oh, I couldn't do that, could I? Yes, I could. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Oops. I won't extend the turn. I will just go straight over to here. As Providence finally on her last action before Solomon Kane reaches the moor, instills the bravery into and the strength into Solomon Kane's strength. Goes up to six. And fully lights the path ahead. <laughs> oh, do I want to keep these? Uh, yes, and probably yes, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with my things. Please don't remove lights. Yes! I just need to get rid of one of my active cards. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Finesse. Okay, okay. So, Solomon Kane is now fully prepared for the what may come ahead. So, we've got three stats we can change and we've got a bright path for 4a so we've we suddenly turned things around in this particular story chapter that is such good news uh you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to go increase clarity increase compassion decrease no decrease danger twice let's take it to that lower threshold um so we've now got strength six thanks to that, that special rule uh, clarity five, compassion four, danger four. I'm quite happy with that. Compassion is quite low, but I do have this, in which case I can add it up more with adding that danger. And I think that's going to be really key. Awesome. Well, that was um, chapter 3C. And we are now ready to go into 4A. So join me then when we'll move on to 4A.